Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Today I want to just throw a thought experiment to you. It's a simple experiment. Any mechanical minded guy should be able to understand this. It is dealing with pneumatics and it's dealing with how we use the potential in a stored tank. So in order for you to understand this, we're going to have a control, which is what you'd standard normally do. And then we're going to have a theoretical pump and we're going to deal with pressure only and we're going to deal with pressure and torque in the pump. Uh, I should call it a motor, not a pump, but the point is, is that we're going to be turning a stored energy in an air tank into rotational energy and we're going to be calculating how long we can run that in minutes. So to start, I'm going to give you what the theoretical motor looks like. So the theoretical motor it is going to be using one PSI, pounds per square inch, per minute, one PSI per minute. And this motor is going to generate full torque at one PSI. So that is very important. If you can't understand the pump, or the motor I should say, if you can't understand the motor, one PSI per minute, full torque at one PSI. So anything below one PSI, it will not produce full torque. It'll produce something in between till it ends up going to zero PSI. So that is the parameters that you need to make sure you understand for this experiment. Now in normal terms, if we were to take an air tank, hold on, I gotta dry my marker off. Seems to be that there's a little bit of water sitting here. This is real time lessons. No messing around here. Okay, so if we were to take an air tank, all right, um, we are going to I don't know, we're going to label this A. Okay. So we have an, a square air tank, and it is at 100 PSI. Okay. We have it tied to a motor, an air motor. Okay. And this air motor. is being exhausted out to the atmosphere. Okay, turn this a little bit because I'm kind of on the other side of the board, which I didn't think I'd be. Okay, so we've got 100 PSI. We've got a motor that runs at one PSI per minute and that's full torque. So the question is, how many minutes of runtime in this scenario A are we gonna get out of this 100 PSI tank. Now I'd like you guys to do the equations yourself so that you fully understand what I'm trying to tell you here. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do it on the board. But like I say, you should do these calculations for yourself. All right, so 100 PSI, one PSI per minute, full torque at one PSI. So this motor is going to technically run for 90 nine minutes. 99 minutes of runtime, okay? At full torque, anything below that, that's it. So we're gonna call this 99 minutes. So the only thing I can get out of this scenario, a motor, an air motor, okay? I'll even put on here air motor. So an air motor, 100 PSI, 99 minutes of runtime. This is going to atmosphere. So it's the energy in the tank is being dispersed back into 14.56 something PSI, one bar. Okay, so now the question is, is how can I get more potential out of this 100 PSI tank? How can I set this up to get more potential? And this is the importance of this video. I want to try to, to demonstrate something to you 
that I think is uh, very important. So let's go to uh, scenario B. Try to give enough room here so I can do all this on one board. Now we're going to do a different scenario. Um, I'm going to draw a line to separate these so you don't get confused. So this is a 100 PSI air tank going to a motor, an air motor. Now, instead of exhausting to the atmosphere, we are going to put another tank here. So we've got a tank going into a tank through an air motor. Now, the importance of A is to realize that all the potential of the stored pressure is dissipated into the atmosphere and you basically lose it after that. You can't gain it back unless you repressurize it. Here though, we're letting two tanks equalize. Okay, let's pretend there's a valve right here and I open the valve. It starts flowing. How many minutes of runtime before this tank and this tank are equalized and what is that pressure? Again, I recommend you pausing this video doing this math yourself so you really understand it. So, I will do it for you once again. We should theoretically get 49 minutes of runtime. Okay? Why? Because this tank is going to go down to 50 psi, and this tank is going to go down to 50 psi. Let's see if this is a good color. Okay, 50 psi, 50 psi. That's our finished value, and we have 49 minutes of runtime. But what do we have? Well, I'm going to draw all these actually, I think, a little bit better. I'm going to draw these as, as new as new air tanks. So this is going to be B1. Oh my, 50 PSI. Fifty PSI. Okay. So at B1 we have two tanks with 50 PSI in them. And we ran this motor for 49 minutes. So now what can we do? Well, we can run these two tanks to atmosphere through an air motor. So at B2, we take 50 PSI, 50 PSI, okay, let's label the tanks, we'll make this a little bit easier. A and B. So here is A and B. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run an air motor again. So we're going to take the same air motor And we're going to run these out to the atmosphere. How many minutes of runtime are we going to get out of this motor now? This should be, again, fairly straightforward. 50 psi, 1 psi per minute, full torque at 1 psi. So full torque for how many minutes? forty nine minutes again and since this went out to atmosphere we have nothing left so briefly let's go ahead and add up our totals Okay. so we already agreed that A is the only way that we can get full amount of energy dissipation of our tank down to one psi 
right? So I'm going to write these in, uh, running out of colors. Eh. I'll write them in this blue, since we're doing numbers in blue. So 99 minutes. Total. Right? What about this scenario? We've got 49 plus 49 plus 49. All right? So total amount of runtime for scenario B through these multiple stages is what? 147? So the point of this thought experiment is somehow in the scenario where I can only get 99 minutes of runtime out of my tank and motor scenario, if I had another storage tank here, I could equalize the pressure but keep all of my pressure because in total I still have 100 PSI in total if you were to add these up mathematically. Now to repressurize them is a whole other story. We're just specifically saying, how long can I run this air motor for this amount of stored air? 100 PSI in a tank. So in this scenario, we've got an extra 46, I guess, total minutes of runtime, if that number's right. But basically, we can run this motor for 147 minutes just by switching how we connect the tanks together here and how we put the motor here. This is a very important concept. Now what happens if we were to put tanks here? Can we get even more out of this 99 minute scenario? Well let's see. So now we're going to be on uh, uh, we'll just use this color. I'll start with purple. So now we're going to be C. And we've got C1, C2. All right, so we've got 100. We've got a motor. We've got a tank. These tanks are labeled A and B. The next scenario, well, let's write our time down. We've got 49. And we end up with what? 50-50. So we ran 49 minutes. 50-50. Let's write our tanks. All right. Draw that a little closer, maybe. So these are tanks A and B. Now we have two more tanks. Oh, let's use the right colors. Uh, C and D. Now, if we do this scenario again, if we run this motor, we had 50, don't forget, 50 each in each tank. What is half of 50? 25. So don't forget, we only get 25, and actually if you wanted to do we lost one, so it's actually 24 PSI, or I'm sorry, minutes. So 24 minutes of runtime, and now we have four tanks with 25 PSI of pressure in them. So now we're going to move on down here to C2. I'm sorry, this is C2. Right, if you follow me. So we're going to go to C3. So at C3, we have uh, four tanks. One, two, three, four. So we've got A, B, C, and D. And they are each at... 
25 PSI each. Now we're going to run these to atmosphere. All right, we're going to go ahead and just run these guys to atmosphere as well. Because at some point, we're going to be below our, our value. How many minutes of runtime can I get out of each one of these scenarios? Well, do the math. I only need one PSI to get full torque, and I consume one PSI per minute. So I'm going to get what? To atmosphere. you got to remember we're going to atmosphere. So I'm going to get my full amount. So I'm going to get another 24. 24, 24, and 24. So now, just by doing a three-stage process, how many full minutes of runtime do I get? Well, let's add them up. 49 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24, plus 24, plus 24, plus 24. One, two, three, four, five, six extra. One, two, three, four, five, six extra, 24. So we could just do 49 plus uh, 24 times uh, six. I'm going to do that on the calculator because I don't want to fudge up the numbers. So uh, 24 times 6 is 144 plus the 49 is 193. So the question becomes, how many times can you do this? You can do it one more time, and one more time, and one more time, and you can get way more than your original scenario of, I only have 100 PSI, and I only can run this long. But why does this work? Well, that's for you to figure out. Why does this work? And this is the thought experiment. Now, the question is, is can you go bigger? Can you do more? And lots of other questions that I want you to think about. Now, if you can find a flaw in this, do let me know. I'm not including a lot of extra parameters. There are many other parameters to deal with. But what you need to remember to do this thought experiment is the pump, or the motor, I should say, must be 1 PSI per minute, that's the consumption, 1 PSI per minute, all right, you can do the math for flow if you wish, and here you get full torque, whatever that is, it's a theoretical motor at this moment. Now I went ahead and did this experiment with a real motor, not on my bench, but mathematically, and I also did this with 1000 PSI. So what's interesting is when you get below one PSI per tank, you can put up to 32 tanks on this system and still have a little bit of extra potential there. That's a lot of extra plumbing, and we're not including all the losses in the, in the pipe. You do need to factor that in, but we're not doing it here because this is a thought experiment. But if you, added, if you made this 1,000 PSI, you could do this many more times and still have a lot of pressure in your tank, and then you can root, uh, use a real-world pump. So instead of this imaginary pump that runs at 1 PSI, you can find a pump that runs at 20 PSI and puts out 0.05 uh, horsepower. And then you can do the calculations if you started with 1,000 PSI. So I'm going to link uh, in the description. I'm going to put a link in the description that goes to the forums. And I want you to go there and post your thoughts. 
If you do it down in the comments, it'll get confusing. You're better off going to the forums and giving your thoughts there. It's free to sign up. Lots of other discussions going on there. Um, so my question is, is why does this work? Where is my flaw? And I want you to think about this scenario for yourself. Like I said, if you want to do it realistically, on this paper I've calculated out the realistic numbers starting with 1,000 PSI. And if you want to calculate in your losses, let's say it's 50% losses, you still gain a lot more. According to my math, about 750% more. Or 0.75, however you want to look at it. Anyway, the point of this is to just make you guys think. I'm using air because it's just a little bit simpler to think about. There are so many more parameters that I'm not bringing up, and I'm doing that for a reason, because I want you to think about it. I want you to figure out on your own what to think about this experiment, and leave me a comment down in the description. And this is basically the first lesson of probably many. If you want to know where this idea originated, I will also link that in the description. And I must thank other people on the internet because this is uh, this is not my original thought, but I've never seen anyone explain it with air, and so I thought I'd do that because it's easy to think about. Of course, we need to convert this to electricity. How would you do this with electricity? But that's way too complicated to think about. We're going to stick with air. Give me your thoughts. Let me know. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Read the Bible more. Maybe you'll find your answers. Just saying. All right. See you guys later.